So this is called uh, thigh gap, which yeah. how many people have not heard of thigh gap? Yeah. Yes, it's good. <laughs> okay. I hadn't heard of it either, and when I heard about you're supposed to have space between, when you stand up and put your feet together, you're supposed to have space between your thighs. Yeah, that's what the thigh gap is. It's you're skinny enough so your thighs do not touch when you're standing straight. Right. And you yeah. were criticized because you were modeling something and people started calling you... All kinds of things, really. Actually, I wanted to come out wearing a pig costume because that's what a real pig looks like and that's what I got called. I got called a pig. I got called hefty. It's, it's fine. I'm really confident and I love... You know, I love my body as it is. But it was a, it was a shock, you know. Yeah. We need women to say that. Yeah, I know. I was, I was really yeah. shocked. <laughs> it's, it's very rare to hear anybody, especially women, say, I love my body and I'm comfortable with that. And, and very few young girls, because you're supposed to say, oh, I have this, or oh, I'm, you know, but you're not supposed to say you're comfortable with your body, which is not great for kids growing up. It's been so empowering the more I'm plus-size model the more I say, you know, I love my body, it actually works. Saying you love your body actually works. It makes a positive rebound effect, and then you start loving your body. You start not caring about the little things. You're like, it's those little things that, you know, that just so time-consuming, you know, diets and control and all that. You just want to let go and just accept who you are. Did you, you started uh, modeling when you were 16. Yeah. And, and were you really thin when you started modeling? I wasn't. I was a normal girl, and I wanted to model because everyone, you know, told me I should model. And well, you're six two. You have two choices: you're a basketball player or you're a model. Exactly, all the volleyball. Yeah. 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 So it was limited options. Uh, No. And so I started to lose weight naturally because I thought, you know, you had to be skinny to be a model. And then the agencies um, got involved, and you know, even at my absolute skinniest, I was not skinny enough to model. You know, at Sydney Crawford today, couldn't even model a catwalk because she's too curvy. That's to a point where it's got to. And so, you know, I gave up um, caring, moved to France, fell in love with food, started a food blog, and dedicated to my life of just loving food and loving, you know, food's not the problem, it's society. It's all other issues, and we're all hating on so much things, but we should just be, you know, accepting our natural size. So you you don't... uh... So you must have, during that time, so you tried to diet, you tried to do all those things, and they, yeah. they don't work. I don't know why people still think diets yeah. work. It was hell, you know? It was a really traumatic experience for me. I was 16, and to think it so much and to hate your body so much, to hold it responsible for not working, to hold it responsible for holding your life back, you know? I was getting options for overseas and all this, like, a dream job for me, this little girl in Australia, you know? So it was, you know, a huge turnaround when I first started plus size modeling. That was when everything changed. And uh, I, I really can't get over it. You're six two, and and yeah. you're size twelve, and yeah. and that you're a plus size model. I know. I mean, I to, mean, to be honest, a plus size should be it just should be a model, and they should learn to put more, you know, different sizes, different ages in the catwalks. I just don't see why. That's and a different problem. ages, like you said, because yeah. most of these models are like 15, 16 years old. Yeah, they're so old. young and manipulative. That you know, you can do. You can tell a 16 to do anything she wants to do, you know, yeah. and she'll do it. Right. If, yeah, so. Well, and also she's 16, so yeah. we, we're never going to have a body like a 16-year-old girl if you're Exactly, a, a mature... you're, you're still a teenager, and yeah. I'm like, when you become a woman, that's when you get the hips and the shot, and, you know, that stuff to me is, I love my body for my hips, and, you know, my hips would have to be half the size to right. model. Do you think that the fashion industry can change, or do you think it's... It's partially, I think, the consumer's fault because we're the ones trying to chase that. Or we have the power to change it, don't you think? Yeah, we do. I think, you know, unfortunately in media, women's weight's really tarnished. I mean, case in point, Kim Kardashian with pregnancy weight. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wrote an article recently about Lady Gaga's weight gain re- as well. And I think when any celebrity woman gains weight, we just we ridicule them. We call them such terrible names and we don't even think about the consequences of... You know, to young girls. So I think it's, you know, we should definitely focus on what we what we say to each other. You know, we shouldn't comment so freely. It's someone's body, and that's their image, and you know, that's going to affect them later on in life. I think I'm more about, you know, finding your set natural weight and just being happy at that weight. Don't try to force yourself down. Like I'm not, I can't be skinny. That's just, you know, my bone structure. Right. Yeah. Well, it's good that that you are comfortable with who you are, and that's what we all need to learn, is to be comfortable in a healthy body. That's all that matters. You're amazing. Thank you for being here.